So Alaskan king crab, every once in a while you get it on sale like I did and then you get to figure out what to do with it. So the one thing I am sure about is that I'm gonna need a uh, fire to cook these. So let's start by getting that fire lit. So this, if you're new here, is Mace Windu. He is my La Piazza Toscana wood oven. And uh, we're gonna be cooking our crab over wood in the wood-fired oven. So I'm gonna start by building myself a little log cabin here. I'm using hickory. That should be a good start to our fire. Let's get it lit. Do you guys know why crab is so expensive but never gives anything back? Cause it's shellfish. All right, I'm gonna open up the chimney stack, let the air flow, and let's get that warmed up. We're gonna try to get it up to about 500 degrees. So for right now, I'm gonna break the crab up into sections here. So I got this one big section. I don't know what it's called. I call it the thigh. I'm sure that's not what it's called, but this is that thick section of the king crab. And then we've got this here that I call the knuckle, which I am positive is also not the right name for it. If you guys know the names for these parts, chime in and let me know but right now I'm just trying to separate these. Now these knuckles have a meat that's nice and sweet, and I'm gonna go ahead and pick the meat out of here. This is expensive meat, so we wanna get as much of it as we can. I'm just gonna break this up with my fingers. I don't want any really big pieces for what I'm gonna do with this. Have you guessed what I'm doing with it yet? If you think you've figured it out, put a link in the comments now, no cheating. Don't come back and leave the comment after you see what I do with it. No cheating. Now let's take a look at these other pieces here. These that uh, I was affectionately calling the thigh. Uh, we're actually gonna cut these open. So I've got shears here. So all I'm gonna do is take this top off here and set it on the side. So I'm exposing the leg meat in there. And these I'm just gonna set out on my grill pan. So we're at 500 degrees on the oven. So let's get this fire set up so we can cook. So what I'm gonna do here is use the small pizza peel to move this fire over here against the side. That's gonna leave me lots of room to cook with over here on the right side and places where I can put more wood to keep the fire going. Now I'm gonna put a cast iron skillet in here and let it start to preheat. Be right back. To finish prepping these, I'm gonna put avocado oil the reason I'm not using extra virgin olive oil on these is because it will smoke too low. Avocado oil has a smoke point of 520 degrees Fahrenheit. We've got the oven running at 500 degrees, so we should be able to maintain the flavor there. Now I'm gonna sprinkle a little bit of kosher salt, just a little bit of sweet paprika, an even smaller amount of cayenne pepper. You can skip this if you don't like spicy and a bunch of cracked black pepper, freshly cracked from my pepper cannon. You guys see how much pepper's coming out of this thing? Let me set this on the side and we'll get on to the secret. All right, who had mushrooms? <laughs> okay, so I'm gonna put some avocado oil in here while I'm telling you this story. But one of my favorite food bloggers is named Bobby and her food blog is Bobby's Cozy Kitchen. And I'll put a link in the description and she does some amazing keto recipes. And uh, many of you know I am keto. And one of them is a crab stuffed mushrooms. I've been wanting to make this for a long time and I saw the crab on sale and I quickly asked her, hey Bobby, is it okay if I make your uh, crab stuffed mushrooms on the show? It took her a little bit of time to get back to me and say yes, to which I replied, good thing, because I saw the ingredients in the store and I bought them all. So we're gonna make Bobby's crab stuffed mushrooms, but instead of in the oven, how she makes it, we're making them in the wood fired oven. The first step here, as you can see, is I'm taking these mushrooms and I'm removing the stems, but I'm saving the stems, we're gonna use those. And then I'm using a spoon to get the gills out so that I can stuff them with crab meat. But again, we're saving everything. Now Bobby's recipe calls for 16 mushrooms. I only have a dozen here, Bobby, forgive me. So I'm going to fine chop these stems because they're gonna go into our stuffing. All right, now I'm gonna grab a couple of green onions. 
So Bobby's recipe calls for a quarter of a red pepper. I didn't want to use a red pepper, primarily because I'm wearing a red shirt and you wouldn't see it. Just kidding. I actually really like orange peppers better than red peppers. So I tend to cook more with orange and yellow peppers. All right, so we're gonna start by sauteing those vegetables, those, those mushroom stems, the pepper and the green onions in this skillet that we preheated. We're gonna saute these for about five minutes. Maybe a little less, this is a nice hot skillet. All right, these look like they're ready to come out. Now Bobby's recipe calls for four ounces of cream cheese. So this is half of a brick of uh, the good stuff. This is the Philly, it's a Southie, don't mess with it. And we're gonna put that right over our hot stuff and that's gonna start to melt. And I'm gonna fold in crab meat. Now I did not weigh this or measure it, but I can't imagine Bobby's gonna be mad at me for having too much crab meat in here with our cream cheese. And then we're gonna put in salt. She calls for pink salt. I'm using kosher salt because I got it handy. And pepper. It doesn't look like that cream cheese is melting, so we're gonna have to manhandle it. Luckily, we have man hands handy. And we're just gonna mix this all up into a nice cream cheese based crab stuffing for the mushrooms. So now I'm just going to stuff a ball of this into each mushroom. I'm probably putting in more than I'm supposed to, but I don't care. Bobby, you can correct me in the comments if you're watching. I hope she's watching. I wonder if Bobby watches the show. Look at that. I put so much in the first couple of mushrooms. I don't have enough, so we're gonna spread it out. That's okay, we can spread the love here. I'm just gonna sprinkle a little grated Parmesan, kinda like we do when we're grilling oysters. All right, let's get these in the oven. Now, uh, we're gonna cook these and the crab legs. Bobby says 350, 15 or 20 minutes. We're at 500 and we're gonna put these right next to the fire. So hopefully they're done in about 10. So we'll start with these. And then we're gonna put our uh, crab legs, thighs, whatever we're gonna call those over there. And uh, boy, it looks like we've got, we've got a nice hot fire going. All right, and now we wait. Okay, it's decision time. I'm gonna start with the, uh, the crab leg. All right, look at this. Definitely have a juicy crab leg. Holy shit. I've grilled crab legs a bunch of times. This, there's something about this wood-fired oven. Bobby, we're gonna see. I'm gonna cut into a mushroom. So we got a little char on top, which I'm happy about. See what it looks like inside. Okay, well it is juicy AF. Look at that stuffing there. Mushrooms nice and soft. Took about 12 minutes. Here we go. Mm. Yes, Bobby, you rock. This recipe, I mean, this would be amazing in the oven in the kitchen. Over wood fire with king crab. Yeah, this is something else. Hey, I'm two for two on the wood oven. Uh, if you hadn't see the first video where I made the rack of lamb on the wood oven, I'm gonna put it right here. If you've already seen that, watch this one over here. I think you're gonna really like it. And I'll see you next time on Eat More Vegans. Thanks, Bobby.